so yeah so you know when i was a size eight even believe it or not people were getting on my case about losing weight even though i'm you know i was a psychic i had to work regular jobs i had to be a coat check person i had to be a cater waiter i had to be all these things and um you know these bus boys and shit would think they had the nerve uh, they think they had the right, uh, excuse me, to say things to me like, oh, you know, you're so pretty. Why why are you gaining weight? Why, why are you getting chubby? And I was just like, dude, leave my sight. It's so funny, this new word, f***able. And I'm amazed at who says things like this. And it is so demeaning. The most grotesque people I've ever seen in my life are the ones that say this to me. You're f***able. And I've only been said, it's only been said to me twice. Uh, when I lost weight and was like a skinny bone who was not at all f***able. Um, a couple people, including a healer, a famous healer that you guys would not believe. This person said to me, oh, now you're f***able. <laughs> um, I've been fuckable. In fact, I think I'm more fuckable now. So, and these people would never be fuckable. That have like never, no matter how much Botox, how much they get their face cut, how much boob implants, butt implants, whatever, they would never be fuckable. So the audacity of saying to me, "Oh, you're fuckable now," is the funniest thing I've ever heard. I mean, get it together, people. Come on, let's let's not be so shallow. Let's not be so shallow. You know, I had a personal trainer for a while and he was great. He was great. But then, you know, you know, he knew I was overweight, obviously. And he said, well, you're a hot chick. He called me a hot chick. You shouldn't be upset about anything. Oh, no. So hot chicks can't be upset about anything. No, no, nothing happens to hot chicks. And then he told me to stay off sugar. <laughs> and then I told him that there was sugar in his beef jerky. And he shut up after that. I give a damn about my reputation.